You're watching Bear Ministries. I miss you like crazy. Hey, 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 hey. If you post your blessing is coming, and this is your season, God is going to do something in your life this week. That post will be loved and promoted. But if you say turn from sin so God can bless you, don't just survive on His grace, but be obedient and faithful. Dedicate your life to His will and turn from sin. Guess what? Just because the word sin was used, that post isn't promoted like the other. You know who figured this out? False Facebook prophets who use going viral to make money. Mainstream preachers like Joel Olstein and T.D. Jakes who will never mention sin and speak of obedience as following a path to wealth rather than being a path of holiness. They tool the world, they are blessed like those in Christ, that they share in righteousness. Then we have music artists who water down scripture to sound more secular, just to tap into that market for more cash. People are willing to compromise, but are truly serving two masters. Motivational speakers did as well, like Mike Todd, who said, God should have made more than two genders and much more blasphemy. They sell their books that twist scripture to chase flesh, professing to have additional knowledge outside God's word that you have to buy in to experience. They see this as a market, or better yet, what T.D. Jake said, I think Jesus, Jesus is the, is product. the product. Tyler Perry used a black Mrs. Doubtfire as a church icon, all to use the church as a stepping stone for what the spirit using him wanted all along. Who does Tyler Perry think Medea would party with in heaven? Oh, she wouldn't. She'd be in hell. <laughs> yeah, that's I mean, true. Yeah, I you're mean, right. She'd, she'd be down there with everybody having a good time. That's true. Yeah, that's yeah. a valid point. I pray the blood of Jesus will come upon you right now. Keep you in his hell. God, I thank you for your blessings. Soft porn videos on TV, the effeminatization of men, and the sexual exploitation of people pretending to be Christians to entice and desensitize real Christians. Now that he got rich from the so-called church videos, his true heart is in most of his movies. We as true believers must separate ourselves from the world so there is a clear distinction from the things of God and the things of this world. We pray for these people and those that follow them because it was once us. But as Christians, we are told to judge things of God there has to exposing of evil. There has to be right and wrong, and this world, the things of it, and the people enjoying it, aren't what's right. Prophecy says that in end times, people will run to preachers who scratch their flesh rather than feed their soul. Stand on the things of God. Never be ashamed to be unpopular. Speaking against Satan will always be unpopular here. We don't belong here. Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth had passed away, and there was no longer any sea. I saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride, beautifully dressed for her husband. And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, Now the dwelling of God is with men, and he will live with them. They will be his people and God himself will be with them and be their God.